badge that we got, man. Y'all can probably stop this joint and do it, but we just gonna try to go through it real quick. Aerial powers. Uh, y'all, y'all know I say aerial powers, man. This is just a joke, man. Float game. Hook specialist. I'm telling you, post hooking gonna be so yo. Yeah, post hooking. Lay up, mix. Hey guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents from my daddy. Good afternoon, not there to K land, man. Check this out, man. So it all started with them boys dropping the courtside report, and it's right here, man. We gonna get going right through this thing, man. They dropped a plethora, and I mean a plethora, of information on this joint, man. A lot of it came straight from the courtside report. A lot of them, they just ad-libbed and they talked to the devs and stuff like that, man. So we're going to get right into it and just go over all of this with you guys. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video and comment y'all thoughts down below. Y'all know we're trying to go with this thing. To the moon, Alice! And if nobody told y'all this today, y'all my brothers, my sisters, my family, I love each and every last one of y'all, man. Courtside report, money on the flow. Let's get straight to it. We're going to have to take the hat down for this one, man, because y'all already know what it is. And check it out. Wolverine, Deadpool, besties, man. Hey, man, don't judge your boy. Just know I'm trying to get that money. I'm trying to get that money. That's what I'm trying to get to, man. We're trying to get to the money. Let's get to the money. Let's get to the yeah, yeah. Anyway, man, check this out. Hey, learn more about the course I report. All this stuff right there, man. We just gonna go straight to it, straight through it, man. This is the stuff that they talked about, but a lot of this stuff they repeat down here, such as this. Uh, through each, through each of the my player builder path you'll have access to more information than ever before. So one thing about this that I did see is that like when you you got this little tool tip type joint, when you're uh, going through the my builder and it tells you what is what. So like like that's the main thing, man. So every my career starts, starts with building my your my player, which is possibly the most integral moment of your journey to create a legacy for yourself obviously it is man we understand the importance of of the process so we spent a great deal of time ensuring that the tools necessary to build just i mean build just the right joint man well, whatever man listen man oh, number one create your own bill whether you're whether you're building a bill making veteran who was who has mastered a my player builder or just looking for i mean I, I, I just looking to experiment and create a unique build anyone can use the world-class my <laughs> world-class the world-class my player builder to, cre to create a cre to create a build from scratch uh you can choose to you can choose to position your measurements and meticulously adjust your individual attributes potential and, and all this stuff man whatever man look man community bill man so look this is the one right here where they just saying you can create your own bill you can do a community bill the community bill we know they took bills from the community my lockdown bill is still the best lockdown bill out there they didn't hit me up to put it in the community bill i just not famous enough yet man so you know it is what it is but they just saying hey first 2k24 introduced a community bill throughout through each of the through each of these my player builders uh, pass you'll have access to more information blah 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 than ever before we already said that i told y'all they be repeating stuff this year's my player builder is designed to cater to different play styles and strategic preferences uh whether you're creating your your my player from scratch or leveraging community wisdom each option in nba 2k25 is crafted to fit your style uh attribute refresh NBA 2K25, we refreshed a handful of, of physical attributes as well as how you earn stamina. So uh, what he says is there's now five physical five physical attributes in the My Player Builder. Speed, speed with ball, playmaking category, uh, speed, agility, strength, and vertical. Stamina is now earned through the Gatorade, <laughs> Gatorade 10 workouts. Uh, this, this is another reason to have you to work out. Each my player starts off with 85 stamina, uh, 85 stamina attribute, uh, and I think they probably did this because they know that the stamina attribute is something that we cheese every year, and it's really largely like something that we don't even care about. But you know, we work on it. But it, it is what it is. We gonna put it at like 95 anyway and use the plus fours, but or 90 if you're a center or whatever. But now everybody can have 99 stamina. But so anyway, 85 stamina uh, rating. You start off with 85 stamina rating and doing a workout. Doing a workout adds two attribute points regardless of your workout results. So if you just do the workouts, you're gonna get the attribute, you're gonna get the attribute results. And then and you can do four uh four workouts each week. So once your my player reaches a once once your my player reaches 99 stamina attribute rating, it's permanent. So once you get a 99, it's permanent. And then uh, as an added bonus for hitting the gym, 
if you get at least three stars on all four weekly workouts you will receive a temporary turbo boost so that's how it always has been and then said once you have once you have done all 12 unique workouts in the gatorade gym you will unlock you will unlock workout warrior so once you get all your attributes, you get the workout warrior, which give you 99 stamina, permanent turbo meter uh, boost, which, which we, we know we need that, and all of the unlocked uh, unlocked body types across the board. So you don't have to keep working for that body type. Once you get it, you got it. Once you get workout warrior, that's just like gym rat. So you're already in there. And then NBA, NBA 2K25, the accelerated attribute, uh, acceleration attribute determine your dribble launches and your off ball movement. In contrast, NBA 2K25 dribble launches is now determined solely by the speed with ball. So it's no more of that teasing it where you can have um, high acceleration, low speed with ball, and then you can make some stuff happen. If you ain't got a speed with ball, if you ain't got it, you ain't got it. So they, they put those attributes together. While defensive lateral movement, off ball launches, and off ball cuts are determined by the new attribute called agility. So that's gonna be dope, man, because like maybe I wanna play like, like I don't have to spend attributes on both sides in order to do something. So like, like if I want, I don't have to have speed and speed, so I can just have agility. So now I can get good launches. If I'm an off ball player, I'm an off ball player. I do, I am gonna have my speed, but I don't have to do a whole lot of stuff. This is the main thing that they were talking about today though, man, them takeovers, man. We're gonna do a deep dive into takeovers later, but NBA 2K25 introduced brand new takeover system with 72 takeovers and 14 takeover abilities. Each takeover targets different attributes and has five, five, uh, five levels uh, re ranging from level one where you're just heating up to level five where you're where you're red where you're red hot as you excel on the court your takeover as you excel on the course your takeover meter fills up gradually boost the boost the targeted attributes uh as you rise up the levels that uh, this happens automatically so you don't have so you don't need to manually activate the takeover but if you have if, if you make a mistake and uh and produce bad plays on the court your takeover meter will drop so this is kind of like the uh what was that was it 19 where it was like that where you you know as you got some take they've been doing it since like 18 and 19 where you got that meter and as you're heating up your attributes do go up i think now they're just going to make it a little bit more blatant and then once you get it all the way to the top then you're going to activate that takeover uh but it just says by activating the previous let's see one two three you unlock you unlock levels four and five well Initially, you will only have access to levels one through three. You will unlock levels four and five by activating the previous the previous levels in 30 different games. So it probably will be advantageous to play park or something like that first, and then you'll get there. Takeover levels unlocked do carry between saves. So that's dope right there. Each takeover has attribute points, attribute requirements, and you'll need and you'll and you'll be able to see the takeovers you have to, the potential to unlock within your my player so it's, it's just like it's always man this is more like 23 where you could choose your takeovers it's not like you could just choose all four so you know you could it, you could choose your takeover based on your your attribute points uh, as well as how each each one's associated boost will impact your attributes you can change your takeover at any time between games selecting from uh from any that meet meet the attribute requirements that, uh, that you got so you can do that right there a personal favorite of mine in visual concepts is the barbecue chicken takeover hoop heads know the barbecue chicken means that barbecue chicken means that you're about to cook your defender and serve up uh serve up a highlight as you take as your takeover meter rises your post game becomes stronger the takeover ability is it, the takeover ability it comes with is deep post bag and so deep post bag is going to be which is a temporary temporarily temporarily and greatly enhances all things post from back downs to post moves to uh but i can't wait to see post hook and do this thing bro y'all just be real with me y'all heard that y'all see barbecue chicken 2k some trolls man they they know that they know that post hooking is going to pull up on Tysino. It's an inevitability. It happens every single year. Post hooking is going to pull up on Tysino and get him in the blender and Z with the barbecue chicken. And it's gonna be crazy, man. And I'm gonna be all there for it, man. Hopefully we get a whole bunch of stuff like that this year, man, because the community been dry the last couple of years, man. I ain't gonna cap my boy. But hey, it is what it is. Up next, badges. There are 40, there are 40 skill badges in NBA 2K25, similar to the takeovers. Each badge has a unique attribute requirement. So you don't just get all the badges now. They have unique attribute requirements, which it was like that last year. When you're, when you're building, 
you are my player, you'll be able to see the see which badges you have the potential to unlock. These 40 badges are split across two tiers, determined by determined by the my player's height. So uh so okay, cool. So you got big man and short man badges. It's all good. Uh my player badges are progressive or progressed by activating each badge in games. Uh, this means that badges are badges you use the badges you use the most will earn them uh, you'll earn more quickly matching up your play style on the court the progression can only increase and does not drop even if you don't fire the badge off tier one badges are the most most powerful badges uh available to you but are more difficult to progress compared to the tier two badges you can uh, you can also work on your badges in team facility uh team practice facility and here's a full list of the badges right here man so these are the badges that we got man y'all can probably stop this joint and do it but we just gonna try to go through it real quick aerial powers uh y'all y'all know i say aerial powers man this is this is a joke man float game hook specialist i'm telling you post hooking gonna be it's your year post hooking lay up mix master uh paint prodigy we'll go over what these are in 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 another video and i'll, I'll go badge by badge uh physical physical finisher post fade phenom post power post powerhouse i'm telling you post up post what i said post up post bro oh, post up poet i thought that thing was like p-o-a-s-t up man poster a uh, posterizer <laughs> post up post up poet posterizer rise up rise up falcons rise up uh then you got box out beast obviously rebound chaser challenger glove high flying defender immovable enforcer interceptor uh, off ball pest on ball menace so that's dope right there off ball pest on ball menace uh paint patroller that's gonna be cool for gambit uh paint uh, uh pick dodger post lockdown brick wall slippery off ball pogo stick uh dead eye limitless range mini marksman mini mini marksman that's gonna be the slow the small guys uh set point specialist i mean set shot specialist shifty shooter that's gonna be the off the dribble guys ankle assassin bailout break starter dimer dimer uh handles for days lightning launch strong handle unpluckable and versatile visionary man please govern yourselves accordingly man but let's see what they're talking about on this uh our goal was to make every badge feel valuable and and equally desirable with fewer badges each each is with, with fewer badges each is more in all encompassing having a legitimate impact on the court we ensure every we ensure wait a minute i ain't see no dog on uh no corner specialist or nothing so i guess that's gonna be in the set shot set shot specialist i guess that's what it's gonna be uh we ensured every every area of the basket of that basketball was completed complemented with you with useful badges so every play style has a way to stand out so that's dope right there man this means that there are fewer badges that are, that are activate in only very specific there are fewer badges that will only activate in only very specific situations for example shifty shooter covers all off the dribble shooting and then uh set set shooter set shot specialist covers all standing uh standing shots there are there's also a brand new level of badge higher than hall of fame called legend legend badges have legend badges have the highest attribute requirements to unlock for your my player but give you give you a huge boost on the court so you can probably get a legend badge so you probably gonna have to have like like let's say for me you probably gonna have to have like 99 um on ball defense in order to get like legend on ball joint like that something like that right so they i get what they're doing like like if you want the high badges you got to go for the attributes you're not just going to be able to get a weak badge and think you're going to be able to do something man badge perks so these going to be this this is going to be cool right here uh badge perks says there are uh there are three new badges three new badge perks that can modify progression of individual badges each perk has two slots available to unlock one one for tier one badges and another for tier two badges max uh max plus one boost uh max plus one boost the badge one level above it's it's maximum potential so like if you can get to so you let's say if i got if i can only get gold i can get hall of fame so or you can go to that next level so that's why they got the next level of badges because you might have hall of fame badges but then you want to go on to the next level so you got max plus one there's uh unlocked at tier 15 and then another one at, at tier uh for tier two badges for tier, two, tier one badges at level 30 at the end of the season your badge equipped with max plus one will revert so you're gonna have to play every season in order to get that these are some rewards that people can actually get behind badges equipped with this perk will earn a flat bay uh this is uh what may i say a part i bro i can't even see that part low 
What is that? Participation? Part of What in the Bro, what the? I think they meant participation, man. Bass equipped with just for Perk will earn flat base amount of progression each game, regardless of how many of how many times it's activated. So that's cool. Synergy. Bass is equipped with this with this perk will receive progression when teammates earn progression. So like we got we got Gambit out there. Gambit shoots from from hella deep. I don't shoot from hella deep that much, but since Gambit does, we can we can assume that hey. He's gonna shoot from hella deep. I will get the ability to shoot from hella deep just from watching him do it. So hey, that's gonna be cool right there, man. And then participation synergy. Uh, yeah, so it should have been participation. I don't know what they said, part location, but anyway, participation synergy and overdrive returning from, from uh, NBA 2K25 are earned through rotation season awards. I didn't even know participation was a joint though, man, but hey, it is what it is. Say performance multiplies, maximize your ba maximize your badges in NBA 2K25 by taking advantage of performance multiplies. These there's these in-game boosts can take your game to another level, but you'll need to earn them separately via quests. There are three performance multipliers and then they got the performance multipliers uh which is up for the challenge, uh games played against tough opponents. Uh, boost bash progression uh, you know that's that's more you get more bash progression for the tougher opponent grade a student finish with an a or something like that you get more progression uh winner circle winning a game give you more progression as you compete in, in in different game types you'll experience different versions of performance multipliers based on then you got the badge elevators man see what these badge elevators are man badge elevators new NBA, new nba 2k 25 badge elevators can permanently boost an individual badge of your choice up to three levels within max potential so you, you just you just go ahead and push it on up within within your max potential for example if your badge is currently at bronze but has a max potential of legend it can immediately be boosted three levels uh bronze silver gold to hall of fame so you can automatically boost it up there will be an available unlock throughout the year for the season level rewards badge elevators badge elevators earned earned in in seasons one through four can boost your badges up to the two levels and then those and those earned in five and eight can boost it up to three levels so i, I see what they're saying man they just want to they, like if you join the game late they want to give you like you they don't want you to be all the way behind you can't catch up so that's gonna be dope. Last but not least, we are experienced. We we ex we excited to introduce the cap breakers. Let me see what we're doing on time. We're doing good on time, man. We we saw community feedback. The players wanted wanted a way to not only increase attribute ratings above the max max potential, which is the caps, but also set set build creation set a build creation, but but uh but have those ratings contribute toward the animation. So when you get to extra attributes, we wanted to be able to do more stuff with them. Take over attributes. Uh, that's exact. That's exactly what the cap breakers are. For example, let's let's say you have a ball handler ball handling of 85 uh, with two cap breakers. You can get to 87, and you can unlock different stuff, man. Different animations, different badges, different takeovers. Everything associated with it being an 87, the cap breaker will get you there. So that'll be dope, man. There's a few restrictions to ensure balance, though. So each attribute can each attribute can be increased a maximum of five. So that'll be dope because y'all know I always come in with the 80 dunk. So now I can come in with an 81 dunk and then I could boost my dunk to like 80, 86 so I can get the contact dunks on my guy. So I'll be like, you know, that'll be, that'll be dope right there. That's some stuff that I'll, that I'll be into because my guy was pretty perfect. And if I'd have had the cap breakers to be able to, in, in, to push him up to 85 dunk, I thought he would have been, I mean, I, as far as for what I need him to do, unstoppable. He, he don't miss many dunks now, but you know, with plus five, would have been dope so i could get that 86 i'll put it at 81 so i could get the 86 so let me see you can use the cap breaker on the attributes of max potential of rating blah 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 it's, it's, it's allowed allowed by your build height wingspan uh height height weight and wingspan which is which is shown in the player uh player builder which uh which allocating your attributes potential which is cool too because you can put it on speed or something like that if i see i don't need that i could just do that uh you must progress an attribute to its max potential rating before applying a cap breaker there's a total of 15 cap breakers available to earn through rep rewards uh oh that's dope okay so you get cap breakers through rep rewards just like you did in uh 2k that was 2k 19 where you could get the 18 and 19 but you had to go to 99 so you could get those cap breakers for that and then they randomly assigned the cap breaker you didn't get to do it but hey your your you must progress uh you must progress an attribute to its max potential. There are 15 cap breakers available to earn through through rep rewards. 
more on rep rewards, affiliations, and that's, they're going to do that in the city, man. NBA 2K25 is all about building a dynasty and all of that stuff, man. That's the my player stuff. They're talking about the heart of the dynasty where you're going to be able to, you're going to come in, uh, and, and we, we can do this in another video, man. But they're just talking about how you can be the GOAT, man, and, and, and all of that good stuff. I don't think nobody really cares about this stuff. But the heart of the dynasty is just saying, you know, they want you to, you're going to come in as a player. You're going to come in and play in some of this stuff, try to win the in-season tournament and all that. And then you're going to try to go be Mike, go beat Mike and be the GOAT. Like, like just like they did this year. Um, You know, it is what it is. So anyway, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know what y'all want me to break down next. We all coming with a badge breakdown. To get this video to 300 likes, we're going to come with that badge breakdown. I'm going to tell y'all everything that we uh, that we think, man. But let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. I'll holler at y'all next time. Until next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Town. Guys, speak.